Today, we're sewing some luxurious silk pillowcases. This is a really easy project and it's a great way to elevate the bedroom. The ones that I'm gonna be making are a Christmas gift and I'm super excited to get into them. To make two standard pillowcases, you'll need one yard of fabric. And there should even be a little bit left over if you also wanna make a matching scrunchie or a silk eye mask. You're gonna to wanna to use a Microtex needle because silk is very fine and you don't wanna use a needle that'll damage your fabric. The kind of pillowcase that we're gonna make has a little sleeve that's gonna encapsulate the pillow so that it doesn't fall out while you're sleeping. This is my personal preference and I think it really elevates the pillowcase from being a standard pillowcase to being something that's a little bit more customized. To make your template, you can either grab the pillow that you're gonna be using or you can grab some pillowcases to mimic. Now let's start by laying out our fabric. Okay, so based on my pillowcase, I know that the width needs to be 20 inches. So I'm gonna measure out 20 inches and I'm gonna cut all the way down the fabric at 20 inches. That way I'll get one big rectangle. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do that twice so I can make two pillowcases out of this single yard of fabric. When doing this, you'll wanna make sure that your fabric is on a hard, flat surface. If any of the fabric is hanging over the edge of the surface, it could cause the shape to be distorted. So just do your best with fabric management and try to keep it all on one surface. Okay, so now that our big rectangles are cut, we're gonna cut them down to size. When the pillowcase is all sewn up, I want it to be 26 and a half inches by 20 inches. But I wanna account for that extra flap so that I can fully encase the pillow, so I'm gonna add an extra 10 inches to one of those sides. Remember that the 26 inches is accounting for the fabric being folded in half, and then the extra 10 inches is only being added to one side. So if we divide the 10 in half, it's actually five. So 26 plus five is 30. I don't know if that math made sense to you, but it's fine. Basically, we're just going to cut it at 31 inches from the fold. Now that our pillowcases are cut to size, we're going to bring the fabric over to our ironing board and we're going to iron the short edges just like we would a normal hem. So we're going to fold it over by a quarter of an inch, then fold it over again by a quarter of an inch. Make sure that your iron is on a silk setting or on just a low setting so that it doesn't burn the fabric. I'd highly recommend trying the fabric out on a piece of scrap fabric so that you don't ruin the final fabric. Because we all know that silk is precious and expensive, so we definitely don't want to have to buy more of it. Now when you're ironing, you can use a pressing cloth or you can just go straight to your fabric, whatever you're most comfortable with. I'm not going to be using a pressing cloth because I've already tried this iron out on a scrap piece of fabric and it worked fine. Once those folds are in place, we're going to clip it down. I recommend using clips instead of pins because pins could damage the fabric. Then we're going to take our pillowcase over to our sewing machine and we're going to sew a straight stitch across both of those short edges. Okay, here's what that edge looks like now. It should be beautiful and crisp. Now it's time to fold the pillowcase into its final form. We'll start by folding it over so that from the fold to the edge, it's 27 inches. Make sure that it's the same on both sides. Then we're gonna take this extra piece and we're gonna fold it over like this. Next, we're gonna clip all the way down the sides. Once all those clips are in place, it's time to take it over to our sewing machine and sew a straight stitch on both sides. I'm personally gonna be using a quarter of an inch seam allowance. Make sure that you sew carefully so that there doesn't end up being any puckering in the fabric. Once those straight stitches are in place, we're gonna take our pillowcase over to our overlocker and we're gonna overlock the edges. If you don't have an overlocker, I'd recommend doing French seams for a nice clean finish. Just make sure that you take into account the seam allowance that's required for French seams. Once you've finished overlocking, we're gonna tuck the tails of the overlock stitch back inside of itself. That way we have a nice clean finish. I like to use this needle that has a wide mouth and a dull end. It's super easy and it's a great way to finish your seams. Now once that's done, our pillowcase is finished and all we have to do is turn it inside out and put a pillow in it. She's 
done and I'm so excited. <laughs> Now, if you followed along in this tutorial, I would really love to hear how your pillowcases came out. Mine are amazing and I'm super excited to gift them this Christmas. They are truly the perfect easy gift, whether that's for yourself or for someone you love. I really appreciate you being here and if you found value out of this content, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It goes a super long way for me. I have lots of valuable sewing content on my channel, so be sure to check it out. And if you like this video, you'll probably also like this video on 25 intentional gifts that you can sew for someone in your life. Although it is technically a Christmas gift list, it would be perfect for any time of year. Thanks for being here and I will see you in the next one.